Salmoto for Salmoto.com. This is blog number two, video blog number two, I should say. Uh, we're here. We just pulled into the team studio parking lot, and we're going to be heading upstairs. We, this week we got Cody Ox Wheeler, WC vet, King of the Cage vet, and New Mexico native. I'm in. He's an awesome guy. We'll be talking with him today. He's going to be bringing in his father as well. We're going to talk to him. Uh, he, he video documents every single fight from Ox's first fight at the Sunshine Theater all the way to his WC, his last WC fight with Will Campuzano. Uh, let's get in there and we'll be meeting with him soon. She was there at the show and there was all the travel councils and all the the travel president i remember after the show the next day she came i was sitting there eating uh eating a brunch with my mom and dad and then she was there with her husband and i remember seeing her walk up towards me i was like oh man i put my head down i was thinking shoot i don't you know is she still mad at me or you know and i just kept eating and she came up to me and i was thinking she was gonna walk past me but she came and grabbed my shoulder and she said come up here and give me a hug and I was like, dang you know this surprised me Says, hey, you know, we we bought two of your shirts, and you know, I'm so proud of you because you turned your life around. There's someone that actually been in the gutter, been in the muddy waters, and turned their life around. It's you. And if there's anybody that's inspiration, it's you. These kids need to see that, and kids all around need to see, hear your story, and know what you came from. And then that kind of like, you know, stopped me in my tracks, and I'm thinking, like, shoot, man, this is it was one of those things. It's Whenever you get a label, a label of being a troublemaker or being a drunk or whatever, you know, it's a hard label to shake, you know, and for me to change the label of having her look at me in a different light, I mean, that took my, that took me into another, in a whole state of mind to make me appreciate everything, then that just made me, like, look back, and I never realized how far I came until I went back and looked. Yeah. So. Wow. That's really touching. Um, <laughs> everyone's just in the studio. They're like, uh, you know, with their their jaws dropped, and everybody's listening to the show. But we'd like to thank some sponsors and make this show happen. Factory Direct Cigars in Rio Rancho. Great cigars at a great price. Call 892-6030, 892-6030. 3D Cuts and Barber Shop on Juan Tabo. MeanStyle.com, Mean One MMA Fitness, OTM Fight Shop, buy a regular price tea, and get one free. Call 884-8844. Avis Rent a Car in the Albuquerque Hilton and radioactive fight gear. We're going to take a little break, and we'll be back here. What was that, Ray Z? On uh, 1017, the team. We got Papa Ox. Because we can we go got Ox's best, best friend. We got a little the waiter over here was popping. He's okay. getting water for everybody. That's Ray Z. Sounds good. Okay. He's got a real good we got story. We got That was good. We got Sal Moore. I'll let you know. And then back, back there in the back, we got Chris Go Kid chilling in the little green room, hanging out with Ox. What's going down, Chris Go? <laughs> and this first out of uh, Lapway, Idaho. And uh, my wife, Serena, she's listening on the radio. She's Miss Calero Apache. And my daughter, Maywee, uh, which means good mo- I mean, morning. And. You know a little bit about Ox. He, you know he, he's his story is uh, pretty good. You know I mean it's uh, a lot of uh, reservation kids go through that uh, situation and at the fork of the road you gotta either do the alcohol or drugs or if you want to live you gotta go the other way or, or your life is short. Right. In Albuquerque. I think uh, John Dotson was on that card. Eric Buck. Me, Marcus Bren, and uh, um, Gerald Lovato were all on that card. And I remember popping off that flying arm bar. And you talk about, man, that move. I have three of those moves. I have one in Fight World, one in Ring of Fire, one in WC. Those, that move is better than a lottery ticket. When you pull that move off, man, you talk about the best feeling in the world. And it looks awesome. Yeah, and People it, go man, nuts when they man. see the flying arm. They're like, what is he doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> chicks dig it. The chicks dig it. <laughs> <laughs> chicks dig tattoos yeah. and chicks dig uh, flying arm bars, yeah, right? But like those flex yeah. coming out again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The flex comes out of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, whenever I pulled that move off, man, that, that thing was like one of the moves that catapulted my career. And it's one of those things, you know, 
I just want to be remembered. Even if I don't get a belt, I beat a lot of guys with belts. You know, even if I don't get a belt, I just want to be remembered. You know, and the thing is, 10 years from now, you know, a little young MMA fighter will be like, Ox Wheel with Flying Armbar, you know, and man, that that right there would just, you know, be like, man, I really did make a mark in the fight game. Mm -hmm. And that's all I really want to do, you know, and that's just, yeah, the Flying Armbar is the move that put me out there. And it's, it's, you know, it's, it's tricky because the first couple times, you know, I spike my head. I popped my shoulder out of place. I hurt myself doing it, but now, you know, I can say I mastered it. I can actually teach it and show you without hurting yourself. I actually have a technique of how to teach it. So it hmm. took trial and tribulation, but I got it. Yeah, you do. You definitely yeah. got it. And and when people see you do this move, oh, my God, the crowd goes nuts. Yeah. Even people are like, you know, you'll be at Buffalo Wild Wings or something, and they see you do that move, and they're like, ah, they just go nuts, and they yeah. start ordering beers, and they just go crazy. <laughs> it's just like it brings the best out of people when they see Ox do this flying arm yeah. one. So, and, and not a lot of people can do it. I've seen your Raya do it, but, I mean, at the caliber that you do it, it's, it's on a different level. Oh, for sure. The show just ended. We're here now just taking some pictures real quick Nice. for, for the radio, for the actual Salmora.com, MyFighterNation.com. Fighter, solo. There's Woo! Ox. Let's do one solo. Ox. Solo. Yeah, yeah. Papa Wheeler. Papa Wheeler! Papa Flex. Flex. There's Ox taking pictures with the nice. with the logo. 1.7, baby. Yeah, over here. Sal, Salmore.com, man. You know, the best guy to keep up. You want to keep up with MMA sports? This is the guy to keep up with right here. He'll keep you intact. You know yeah. this, baby. Thanks, Ox. Yeah. Let's do some so drops on. Now we're going to do some drops with Ox. What drops are, they're just basically little drops saying, hey, you're listening to 101.7, the team. This is Ox, WC, veteran, whatnot. And the show ended. It was a good show. Yeah, very emotional. Uh, this video will be up pretty soon. Salmora.com uh, and MyFighterNation as .com as well. Pictures will be up soon as well. Also, uh, we'll talk to you next week.